If you're looking to buy small to team coins, go check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. All the links are down below in that description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 10% discount on all of your ores, guys. They're cheap, reliable, and you get your coins within 60 seconds. What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got the return of Odegaard's Road to Real Madrid. This is episode number 6 and apologies it has been a while since the last episode but basically other things have come out such as the upgrades and I've kind of put them before the series guys. It's back now and uh, we've got a lot of games to cover in this episode to make up for that guys. So if you want to see more of this series, smash that like button right now. 1,000 fires likes would be absolutely awesome and if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content. As you can see, we're sitting in 5th place going into this episode. Now first game is an away fixture to Huddlesfield. So um... Obviously, it's going quite well for Ipswich right now. We're playing well, and uh, we start off in the worst possible way. After 11 minutes, we can see the penalty. So I've got a few, like two main things to point about this episode, and then both about actually the gameplay and the AI of offline uh, FIFA. And the first one is, is the fact that you'll see throughout this episode in this series, the strikers are so stagnant. Even when you press the make a run button, they'll literally just stand there and be like, yeah, run past me, and you, you get the goals. And uh, it seems to be the common factor right now. I mean... The runs from the AIs are absolutely dreadful, and I don't. I, I think I'm a seasoning. I'm still yet to actually play through a, uh, a striker because they, they just don't make the runs. So I don't understand how I can get the assist, and it just that, that just sums up my luck. That the last couple of games, look at that. It was a ridiculous block, and uh, we get another shit rating. So our form is dipping down a little bit, and uh, we do actually get dropped for the Millwall game. But like I said, if I don't get the runs from the likes of Taylor McGoldrick and I think it's Frank Noble, uh, how am I supposed to get the assist? I mean, I'm creating chances through uh, passing it. Um, out to the side of them or something when they're on the edge of the box and they're shooting, but it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything for me if they aren't like, making a run over the top or through the defence. Uh, I know I know McGoldrick is like a hold-up player, but I don't know, it just seems like quite unrealistic. And that brings me on to the next one. Um, the AI attacking is it's just so incompetent because if they don't have me, what do they do? I mean, that's the first run I think they've ever made trying to get beyond the defence, and we are in over a season, so that, that was kind of annoying me a little bit. But as you can see, my position, I always set the spot up on the edge of the box, and I'm I'm hoping for something and um, they, they, at the moment they're just ignoring me and I've actually been taken off corner duty as well but uh, we, we just, we're we not creating anything and it's actually quite a common theme through the next couple of games and I mean I don't know some of these games are really boring ones like that I get a 5.3 again because I can't do anything really when, when, it's not, when no one's making the runs I'm not getting the ball I can't provide any kind of assist or any kind of killer ball uh, which which I don't know first episode in the new season we're doing really, really well but this se season uh, or this uh, episode sorry we're doing really, really bad I mean, we're getting dropped all over the place and that's why we're getting through so many games because obviously the championship has a lot more fixtures than the Liga Atlante that I was in. Uh, but actually, they're, they're the type of chances I'm creating. They're literally nothing. And... Um I'm having to create stuff for myself and our strength is still very low. Uh, I'm still not sure if we can actually improve our physical stats because at the moment, our pace and everything seems exactly the same. We go 1-0 down to Charlton and it's, it's going really, really badly. But as you can see, McGoldrick gets in on goal, but he's too slow and they get the block in. So McGoldrick for me has kind of been a massive problem. He's been absolutely god-awful. Uh, he's actually up there the striker had in the Liga Atlante for how bad he is. And honestly, I was, um, I don't know, he wasn't getting dropped even though he wasn't scoring any goals. And actually, you see we're kind of um getting our targets aren't really getting matched because either we're getting dropped from a majority of the game so we can't actually reach it or we're just not getting the like service we can provide them uh to put them through on goal but we're actually one uh, one all at the moment to wolves and that leads us into our next game crystal palace obviously got relegated i won this free kick by the way and look they just blast it over the bar because the, again that's another thing the ai technique the ai is uh, shooting on offline is so damn bad that the technique of uh, shooting they literally just sky everything they can and like that straight the goalkeeper from them and it just seems to be a very very common factor the, the shooting definitely needs a bit of uh, working on uh, come next year so we get a little bit of space there and we get ourselves a penalty I mean Hangeland absolutely took us out there and uh, McGoldrick steps up and he fucking misses I mean that just sums McGoldrick up we win the penalty for him and he does not score the goal. So another draw. And I, I think we I don't think we've actually scored. We're four minutes into this episode and you haven't seen us actually score a goal. So we might have done. I might be talking crap there, but honestly I can't remember actually scoring a goal. We go we are dropped now for consecutive matches, this time against Brighton. And I mean Brighton are a decent team. They've got some good players. Uh, they've got Mikhail Smith and Bo uh, Bulldog. I saw Bulldog used to play for uh, West Ham actually. But as you can see, we lose again. And our targets, we've got two out of four, but again, we're not playing enough games to be able to complete them. We go to our next game against Leeds, and it's another game 
where we are dropped. So I think this one is down to form because personally, I'm not playing well. Uh, but the whole team in general just isn't playing well either. We do get a away win and that leads us into our next game at Sheffield Wednesday. So again, we're hoping to keep up some kind of form to boost us up that league. But we actually, uh, I think we lose 2-1 this time. Yeah, we lose 2-1 and again, another drop game against Birmingham City. So Birmingham, I actually think are doing very, very bad. Um, I, I don't know if they're doing great in real life either, but I think they're near the bottom. But part our left back, I do believe he is, gets two goals. And we're back in for the Reading game. So we're back on the pitch and the boss wants us to prove our worth. And look at that. Our first goal of the season, and it's a freaking header. I mean, what's that all about? We're like five foot seven, and our first goal of the season is, isn't like a mazy skill run or anything. It's a very, very bang average header. We actually need to make it two there, uh, but unfortunately hits the post. But we're showing some better signs, 6.8. Not an incredible rating, but it's better than the 5.3s we have been getting. And we actually get the win. Um, I got two out of three uh, targets there. Actually, that's not too bad. And our next four fixtures then aren't too, uh, aren't too bad either. So we'll see that next episode. And there is our improvement. Now a 73 rated player, and we're... I've actually dropped from fifth to eighth guys so enjoy the video smash that like button subscribe for daily fifa content and i will see you guys next time thank you for this video